bit sluggish today. Maybe it's when I jam pack too many things on Monday and Tuesday. My Wednesday is kind of more drained. Maybe I need to take it more easy and spread out the load between Monday, Wednesday, and take Tuesday as an easier one. But I really want to get caught up, and especially taking this giant 10-day trip here soon. I know I'm gonna fall behind. Luckily, Climbs is coming with me, uh, splitting the trip, so hopefully he can take half the load of the drive so I can catch up on work. But that also means I need to find my AC adapter and fix that. Let's do that now. So I found my AC adapter that I want to bring in my car so I can charge my laptop. I think this piece is all crusted down, so I might need to repair this. I also found our, our, our old roommates, excuse me, not roommates, the people that used to live in this house did a lot of modifications. They changed all the bulbs to LED, which is nice. They have a lot of IKEA things, but we've been getting a lot of legal documents from them. And I presume it's, it's, they had some problems and had to leave, but they seem like pretty progressive people and they left a ton of stuff. Like I just found this box of angle brackets in the garage that I'm going to use to help support my shelves. Um, but right now I'm gonna eat while my other video is encoding and then back to work. I'll finish chewing first. So I'm down in the office. I left like five videos to encode last night and only like two or three of them were successful. One was partially done, one wasn't done at all, one was missing material. Um, I'm pretty sure when the computer cut the network connection to itself when it went into standby, it was still encoding and a lot of my base files like my watermarks and some of my titles and city names that I just store in my server just like so don't have to recreate them every time. It wasn't connected to the server so it didn't retrieve the materials and it just blew through the entire video. So I had to redo those this morning and so I'm uploading them on this computer and I'm gonna work on this computer but I decided to eat real quick. And literally after, hold on, let me fix this a little bit. Does that look kind of better or does that look super blue? I almost spilled my lunch all over my desk. I made lunch and then by the time I'd finished, I was like, I don't, I'm not really hungry, I just wanna get to work. But if I don't eat now, I probably won't eat until like 6 or 7 p.m. and Maddie's not coming over after work today for dinner. So I won't even, I won't even have that like trigger of like, oh, it's dinner time. I'll just keep buzzing through and so I need to put something down right now first. Just some leftovers. Catching up my vlog, catching up on the vlogs that I subscribe to and then I'm going to finish up my few and I really hope I can get to some of these other projects I've been wanting to do. I need to repair my car adapter. I need to start packing. I don't even know what I need to bring. Sadly, a lot of these times, or I do a lot of tech work for my family too, and I, I have no problem with it, but as soon as I get home, and it's like, oh, fix this, fix this, fix this, and I didn't bring any tools for that. I didn't bring, I didn't know they existed, so I probably should just email them real quick, and I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna email my grandparents and my family real quick, see if there's any technical problems, see what kind of things I need to kind of imagine for. I'll probably bring my general two kits, but I don't want to pack a lot because I'm trying to plan on bringing a lot of stuff back from my Cedar Falls home that's just stored in a warehouse out there. I'd like to bring my big fish tank, but that's probably not happening. Surround sound, more fish tank equipment, more audio hardware equipment, stuff like that. Like, I, I've got a lot of stuff there, and I don't want to pack too much going out that way, so... I only got one. Yeah, it's another work day. said a bunch of our previous tenants or the people that used to live here left a bunch of Ikea stuff. This giant shelf is one of them. I'm taking a quick break from editing. My brain's kind of buzzed today, but I need to get them done. Uh, so I'm doing something with my hands away from my screen for a little bit, but just tighten it up and I'm just going to put it in that corner just to hang some stuff and keep the area nice. take a break, my hands cramping again, and my back and everything. That puts me at one, two, five to catch up. Tomorrow's is kind of small, so I might try to do tomorrow's later on tonight, but I'm gonna take a break for a little bit and go upstairs and see what everybody else is doing. But I, I can finish one more tonight. I'll do one, three tomorrow. We'll see how much stuff I've done, but then I'll be finally caught up, so Saturday I can spend packing and getting ready to head back home. 
or Sunday. My battery's almost dead here, but I feel bad that Maddie's moving again. She's moving to a new apartment with Mira. It's gonna be an awesome apartment. It's like the apartment that I've always wanted. Somewhere downtown, spacious, island, blah, blah, blah. It, it's gonna be cool, but I can't help her move in again for the billionth time because I'm going back to Iowa, so. So hopefully Saturday I can help her pack a little bit so I can spend some time, but I think otherwise I'll have to get her a present or something. I know she wants a desk, and after I built this IKEA, after I built this IKEA desk, I was pretty happy with myself, and I want to do it again. So maybe I'll get her a desk and customize it or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, break time. Okay. So this shelf was like seven dollars. Let's let's bring it back. I wanted to find a small kind of nightstand that could fit here. I wanted to put one over there, that shelf works better just to have more stuff. So I wanted one here, but the size, the width of the passage between the bed and the wall isn't that big. So I'm lucky I found this very basic shelf that I can just attach to the wall. And then when I was in the as-is part at Ikea, I found one for a sixth of the price. Used and looking perfectly gorgeous. I call it a win. So, I need to use, obviously, this noisy thing to find the studs so I can install it. I was just going to take a break, but I'm still awake. I need a project. Probably should measure it first. I want it to be the same height as the other one. And I found a quick box. I figured this is going to make a mess, so... I thought that would help catch all the junk, but uh, apparently not. There's a gap between the wall because I'm pretty sure our house is moving, but I don't think anyone's going to care, and anyone is me. So if that's how it's going to work, then that's how I'm going to leave it. I mean, it's on there. Well, I finally moved it over a little bit and matched it with the stud. There was no way it was going to hold, so there's a little gap here, whatever, maybe I'll throw a cable up there or something. Let me put the next one in. I might still add something to reinforce, but what do you think? Hold on. I mean, I got them in. They're pretty much level. Um, this one kind of moves, so I might add just like one little nail under here, just kind of hold it up. And the same with the other one. The, bot the top one is more flimsy than the bottom one is. I think that turned out pretty nice. That's gonna stay like that. Guess what day it is? 